Hey guys, so today I want to take a look at the latest iOS 7 update, uh, the iOS 7.1.1 on the iPhone 5. Uh, so I have installed it right here, and I'm just going to boot it up here. So, I mean, this was just an 18 megabyte update for the iPhone 5, and um, just a quick over the air update. Uh, with bug fixes and improvements and security updates that, that Apple did say uh, for especially for the iPhone 5s it was like 10 megabytes bigger in size and it did contain a little bit more about the touch ID that they kind of like speeded up and made it a little bit more secure from what I understood uh, of course the iPhone the iPhone 5 here doesn't have anything like touch ID or a fingerprint sensor. I mean, just a normal standard home button down here at the bottom. Of course. Um, so I have actually changed to another wallpaper over here. Uh, so just to confirm that this is the latest stuff, I'm just gonna go into general, uh, 7.1.1. 11 D 201 update. And I might do some gameplay videos if people are interested. Um, so let's try this one out over here. People always want to see some random stuff about new updates. They like it. I could also say that this new update is for the iPhone 4S, uh, which I'm currently installing it on. It is just around, uh, how big was it now again? It's um, it's just around uh, 16 megabytes, so two megabytes less than the iPhone 5. So especially the the iPhone 5s got a pretty big update compared to these two. You can see here, of course, that this runs a little bit longer here. So the score of 718 and 1291 sounds a little bit higher. Uh, if we go into speed test here, you can also see I have a ton of apps. Just a ton, a ton of apps. Just gonna make sure I'm running on my yeah my 5G. Interesting. Thank you. <sighs> I can easily get over 100 on my on my Galaxy S5 because it has some special internet or something. But I have a 50 megabits upload where I live, so pretty almost maxing out there, uh, which is quite interesting. Uh, let's take a look here if we can see some random stuff. Do we still have the spotted lag? Yes, we do have that. This is the first time though after boot up. Still, it's annoying. Um, but this one, of course, is running well. Still would want to wait here probably to close everything. It just feels not so good to have to tap there and then clear. It's, it's a little bit too much um, tapping, if you ask me. Still want a full close here to close everything down. Of course, the software is pretty similar to what we do get in the iPhone iPhone 5S, but we don't, of course, we get a little bit worse camera, uh, just because this camera on this device, this iPhone 5, is just having one of these um, uh, flash things, dual LED flash while the brand new iPhone 5 
S here has two. Clearly see that. Different color variants too, of course. Or of course, of course. It's not that obvious. Um, see here, loading. Yes, might be trying Amazing Spider-Man or something. Hmm. People are always curious. People always want to know how stuff performs uh, on the new good stuff. <laughs> Oops, I haven't forgot actually. Who the hell use Yahoo? It's weird. Nobody can possibly use this. I mean, really, Apple. You shouldn't promote Yahoo. They suck. You should promote Google. I know you don't like Google, but come on, man. You can see so many apps I have. Maybe I should do like a top 50 apps or no, that's too much. Top 10 apps, top 7 apps, top 5 apps or something for iPhone. I mean, I have tried out a lot of different, but people like videos uh, where I do feature a lot of different apps in one video, which is easier and a little bit more fun and enjoyable to do, more value in one video. So yeah, we will have to see about that. Peace out.